Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about error provider control in CSR.NET vendor store. So let's go to our toolbox and here you can find error provider. So about error provider uh, provides a user interface to indicate to the user that control is a form of associated error associated with it. Suppose if I take any or uh, text box control at here. So at here, let's take our uh, text box control. Suppose if a user uh, doesn't enter anything here, so here must we saw some error kind of icons or error masses. And so this is the thing. So let's uh, uh, see by one example. So at here first, uh, I'm going to take uh, level control. So here, or uh, level control required. So let's copy this level control and paste it down. And here, uh, select the level control one and here after uh, write to text property of level control. So at your user name going to write and this for password. So at here, this is the username and password. So I need to do text box control. So let's uh, paste at here. So this is the uh, text box or two. So that's for password and here text box one. So this for username. So since uh, this is for password, so at here one property is password can. So at here I'm going to enter a star. So whenever user enter anything, like anything, any number of character, so that accept and that visible into uh, asterisk. Now here after let's uh, take error provider control. Uh, add here error provider one. So if error provider one. So this is for text box one. And here after I need one more. So error provider two. So that's for uh, password text box two. Here. Now let's uh, uh, select the text box. And uh, here go to event. So here I need to. A validating event. So let's double click here. So at your validating event, it's open. So at your first, I'm going to create one of method giving the name at your user name. And here after, I'm going to write method body. So at your private, so this is bold time. So that's written true or false. And here user name. Now let's write the body part of username. So at here taking full type of variable or flag. And here initializing the value with true. Now let's write if a statement and here text box one. Text box one required and here dot text property. So if a text one has a, a space or blank space, so at here going to use error provider form. So at here need set error method. So let's take that one here after text box one dot sorry comma and here printing place enter your name. And uh, here after flag become false. Now here after let's uh, write as part here uh, error provider one dot set error. So add your text box one. So add your or blank space. So if this part uh, is error, so that go to as part here, that uh, state error text box one. Now here after, so since uh, this is a bullet time, so we have to return, return here flag. So whatever the value get flag, so that return. So this uh, under username, 
So this is the code for text box one. Now here after let's select text box two and uh, text box two is selected. Now double click on validating event. And the same thing you have to copy and paste to save the terms. So first I'm going to create to add a method. The name is method giving the name of method pass. So this indicate password method and uh, here after let's uh, copy the line from here and uh, paste it down. So public or uh, private bool here give the name of method pass. So this is for text box or two here error provider or two here text box two text box two and here error provider two. So here this is about to uh, created one new method pass. Now let's execute and check the code is it working fine or not. So at here, if I do not enter anything, so see at here, I'm getting the uh, icon. So please enter your name. So suppose if I enter here, so here I'm going to enter Adam. So here error out. So at here, uh, it's, I'm getting a please enter your name. So one mistake I did uh, here, because of uh, copy and paste, I forget to write here, uh, please enter password. Now let's execute again. So suppose if I enter add here, uh, Adam, so no eating error. Suppose if I take the cursor at this point, so I am getting the uh, message, error message, please enter the password. So suppose if I enter 1, 2, 3, 4, so here, yeah. now all the error out. Suppose if I doesn't enter anything here, yeah. so it's indicating please enter your name. So here, yeah. if I enter the name Sam, so now error out. So at here I'm going to take, I'm going to make the uh, code interesting. So here yeah, I'm going to take uh, one button control. So let's uh, take one button control. So here the text property of button control I'm going to use text here giving changing the name login. Login. Now here after double click on button control and uh, here let's take boolean type for variable giving the name and here after I am passing whatever the flag value it's come at here for username so that go to name so at here let's write username method and here after next variable bool so this or uh, that's for at here password so at here passing pass pass method So here, this is the pass method. So this go to password. Now here after, let's uh, uh, take if statement, and your uh, first is for name and operator. So if both condition uh, would be true, then that uh, go inside. So if both condition true, so at your uh, that print message box dot uh, so. So I am going to print, uh, thank you, thank you for logging.
so this will uh, print so suppose if that go if a statement false so that go to else part here or uh, masses or uh, box or uh, dot so method so i am going to uh, masses print please enter valid username and password and password so let's uh, execute the code so i am uh, this is just like a uh, login form so i have username password so i am going to use enter username max and i am setting the password 1234 so let's uh, click on login so i am thank you for logging i am getting this message suppose if i am not going to enter the password so i have or please uh, uh, please valid so i have the error message uh, i am getting please enter password and here i am going to enter please enter so let's execute Now let's click on. So I am getting please enter value username and password here, or please enter your message. So this is error. Provide to control icon here. This is. So suppose if I enter at here the name of Sammy and your password five six seven. So let's click on. So I am. Thank you for logging. So this is the use of uh, error provider. So it's uh, just like uh, to create one uh, login form in the Windows application. And here, yeah, this is the code. So let's understand the code at here. So at here, I'm using level control, level one, level two. So that's for uh, printing masses here. Yeah, this uh, this display into the output screen. And here after text box one. So text box one that is for username and this is for password. So there I state the property password can. You can select any uh, a star whatever you like. And here after here, so at here first I create to one method username. So for validating. And here after this the method and here this the method body. So at here I have taken bool time or variable blank. By default it's a uh, setting the value true. So if uh, that is a blank space, so if uh, user doesn't enter anything, yeah, so no uh, doesn't enter, so that uh, this condition is true. So I have uh, that to set the set set error master text box. So please enter username. So if that is blank, so that here that uh, suppose user enters something like any name, so that to uh, go to else part here, uh. Yeah, that to uh, error provider so that to uh, whatever into so that that error so that display and yeah, if uh, this condition is uh, uh, true so that flag become false and if that condition is not true so flag remain true if this condition is true so here after that to uh, go here so name uh, here or uh, so this condition is true so that go true value go to or uh, name so name value is not true Suppose the uh, uh, user enters something and user enters something inside password. So if both condition is true, so that coincides. So that print. Thank you for logging. Suppose if the user this condition is true, suppose user enter or uh, name or uh, anything and forget to enter the password. So that go to else part here. That uh, print. Please enter valid username and password. So add here. So that here I'm using and operator. So both condition must be true. And the same code for add your password. So uh, no, I didn't change um, anything. It's only I change add your text box name and error provider. And the same thing with a uh, pass method. Here I have taken pass method, same validating method. So if the uh, user enter both uh, uh, name and password, so that print here. Thank you for logging. If uh, forget to enter name, so that means uh, here uh, that forget to enter the name. So this is uh, blank now. So that go to if part here, or uh, please enter your name and here flag value is now false. So here, or uh, flag value is now false and here suppose enter user into something password. So false and true. So this condition is now uh, false. So that go to as part. 
and here that print print uh, please enter valid username and password so this is the users of error provided control in csr.get windows form so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so if you have any doubt related to this video leave your comment or definitely i will reply so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you